Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization VI. I hope you all have been enjoying this one. Uh, certainly, certainly, it has been unique, which is good. Uh, and we are we're finally overtaking Movemba for tourism stuff, which is nice. If I don't use Moksha after the religious ordeal, I mean, he, Moksha doesn't really help you that much. What does the Halifax say? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God. I, is it bad that I can't even remember what the fox says? <laughs> Isn't it just sounds? Uh, thank you, Zon. Thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, and welcome on back. So what are, what, what are our goals? Just to start converting all this. You know what? I think I am going to switch into Theocracy. Get our 15% purchase on uh, discount on faith purchases. Slightly less than ideal uh, layout here. And I don't think we go into democracy. I think we can stick with theocracy at least at least for as long as we can spend all of our faith. Um, I'll be very curious the relationship between just straight up faith buying naturalists and faith buying mounties, which we're about to be able to do. We've got three turns until the uh, Grand Master's Chapel. Got a lot of extra land here, so plenty more parks that can be had here. We'll shoot for 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 twenty or thirty of them or something. Uh, probably the temples better here. We've protected our religion. Do I have any errant inquisitors? Hamilton's not our religion. I should maybe get an inquisitor or two. So let's switch governments. Oh, yeah, it's, it's the ring-ding-ding ding thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is just sounds. Uh, eventually, we may need more culture here. So we've got movement. I mean, I guess that none of these are probably going to do a whole lot right now for us. Um, so faith and faith. Is that where we want our policies, or do we want culture policies? Our culture's starting to look good. Finally. And our gold matters a lot, too. I think this gets us the most um, tourism immediately because we're going to be converting all, like these exact resources into national parks. It's a little late in the game to be getting a lot of national parks, but it is what it is. Uh, let's do this. And we'll see how it goes beyond this. Yeah, I, I thought about finishing it over the weekend guard, but I didn't. And uh, it's kind of the perfect thing to do because I, I don't really want to stream for super long today. I'm a sleepy, sleepy game mechanic, let me tell you. We can go right to, I mean, God, we could skip so many parks and just start throwing rock bands. But he's going to have the policy to keep us out if he doesn't already. Nice, Dentrasi. Um, so we can steal this. I'm also still interested in just stealing money. So, is is this worth more than a thousand gold? Is the question. Do we have spots? We have art, archaeological. And I can't buy any books. So this is less than a thousand. So we should do the spy mission, steal gold, and buy great works. Is the math that I'm seeing. And let's make sure we're clearing everybody else out of theirs. So, oh, it's got artifacts. Nothing. God stuff. Why does everybody have so many great works? Darn you, Movemba. I blame you. But a relic. We don't really need that. And then everything he has. So, looking at great people. I could run science projects. Otherwise, we'll never get that. It's not too bad. So yeah, I think we'll buy three art. And we can start to buy archaeological if we want. So 
Religious, religious, religious. Okay. Oh, I do have an amphitheater. I do have an amphitheater. So we can get one more book and one more piece of art. Dad, thank you so much. Thank you for the two years. Holy cow. Two years, woot woot. Thank you so much. Thank you for the ongoing support. Probably want to still buy from him since he's the culture leader. Thank you for bringing that prime back for two years. That's freaking insane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There are a lot of landscapes out there, which is interesting. But I think I'll just grab whatever. All right. So that's as much as we can do right now. And then we should start faith buying some national parks as well. So let's fill out this area. We have many. Oh, I can't do it from there. Let's start with that. And do we have builders? Do we have sleepy builders anywhere? Sort of. And I did want an Inquisitor as well. All right. So there we go. Turn 206. Oh. Okay. That didn't matter. This is, this is it. So now we go into the new era, which we've got secured. Right. Right, right, right. I forgot that we were we were ending an era, not starting one. I appreciate you, Dad. Thank you very much. Yeah, prob you're probably right on that one, Mirrodin. So we swap that. Oh, I gotta. I gotta get rid of this tile improvement. Another one. Our dedication can be what? I'm not really making like the the production to military units is is a decent option for them at this stage of the game but like I don't think I want it. I think I want the gold. Like these kind of do a similar thing. I'll just take coinage. We we just gave up a lot of our gold per turn, so I I want to make sure that we mitigate a little bit. Um all right. Inquisitor's just going to be way better there. <laughs> oh, that's a preserve. I can't do a park there. Man, I really did screw that up, huh? Oopsies. You can get this one. Oh, I got to get rid of this mine. All right. We need some builders now. We need a lot of builders. Three titles. Feels like a waste. I could bring in Amani. <laughs> What's up? You bring light in. How you doing? I waited a long time to build our preserves in this game because we had all that religious shenanigans going on. 
Um, in the future, I'd, I'd prefer to be building them way sooner than what we than what we did here. So Liang to Winnipeg, maybe. I can take gold. And I don't, yeah, the, the religious pressure doesn't matter. <laughs> it did at one point. I don't think it does anymore. There we go. There we go. She's attacking Lisbon. That's not very nice. Building some wonders. That preserve is coming along. They, they need another population over there. Double. What do we want to double? This this is actually the most important one. If I can if I can have a fifty percent discount on gold buying mounties, or even faith buying mounties. No, because we'll use our faith for rock bands. Let's do this for gold. And then this one, let's vote for no engineers because that's what the AI usually wants. Is like a no. And then two Diplo points to me, which I'm sure we won't get. That pretty much eats us out of all of our uh, Diplo. Minus 50% production. So maybe we want to build some Mounties. That could be a thing. We did just unlock the policy. I don't think I'm currently building any, though. No great writer. Interesting. Medici got it. And then... If it weren't for electricity. This is what it is. Computers in a couple turns here then. Six turns until a 25% tourism boost. Yeah, I need a builder here. I beheld. Shelly's just sitting there. Woods. How is our appeal? So this is actually, we can park this. Oh, we were building a Mountie. Um, hey, Doc, how's it going? I don't have any quick unlocks, eh? So four turns. Yeah, let's get a Builder and then Mounties. We'll, we'll, we'll turn in that. Uh, we'll put on the policy. This needs builders before stuff happens. Is this where I want the park or is this where I want the park? Technically this is where I want the park. Although this is not a preserve anymore. Yeah, cause this belongs to Victoria. The cap still needs to get theirs. Oh gosh. Yeah, the preserve taking a district slot is, uh, is something to manage for sure. That's something I'm gonna need to learn a bit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Not sure those are enough parks. Here's some income for more Mountainies TGM. <laughs> Thank TGM you very much. Love. Not, not, never enough parks, really. Let's be honest. Um, Thank you so much, Ignacy. Welcome back for three months. It's good to have you here. And Bose. Hey, buddy. Dude, a year? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. 
the whole freaking year. Let's go. Dude, let's go indeed. Thank you, Bose. Thank you for the tier two. Welcome back for a full year, my dude. How you doing today? It's good. I saw that Sonny's Sonny's having a, a an unfortunate trip to the doctor today. That's that's no bueno. That's no bueno at all. I mean it it is bueno because gotta gotta do it, but she getting snip snipped. Oh poor pupper. Poor pupper. It's good to see you, Bose. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the resub, my friend. Preserves actually make Cliffs of Dover not awful. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, nice. Which theater square, Garf? No, Blue Wings, I, uh, I I really didn't sleep last night, buddy. I'm probably going to... We're probably going to play this out, and then that'll probably do it for me, I'll be honest. But hoping to at least wrap this one up. This could be a park. But then this can't be a park. Be better to have it there. Thanks, man. I'm fine. I'm just sleepy. I just didn't sleep. I don't want it here or here. I want I want this. So I guess just come on down. Pop 10 here. So we can look at a district there eventually. Yeah, when when it hits late game Canada's Canada it does become a force to be reckoned with. That is that is just true. All right, we finished Grandmaster's Chapel. So I'm very curious. So faith buying a Mountie is 680. And faith buying a Naturalist is now 765. So we should just faith buy, uh, faith buy Mounties. Kind of insane. Although I think I'm just going to save for Rock Bands. Save our faith for rock bands. We'll use our gold in production for mounties. That's, I think, where, where we're at. But that's interesting. Interesting. Give me more builders here, please. We're not running the builder card, though. And we definitely should be. The problem with staying in theocracy versus going to democracy is you're much, much more limited on um, how many policy slots. And in a culture game, policy slots are at a premium. Like, we, we we're happy to be running faith. We're happy to be running culture. We're happy to be running all sorts of stuff. And eventually, we'll have to run all the tourism ones as well. Um, so that is is quite restrictive. But I think I'll give up triangular trade for uh, public works while we build a couple builders here. Oh, the entertainment complex is doing a whole lot of good. Uh, yeah, the one that's over here. I mean, <laughs> it's giving us two culture. It's not nothing. To squeeze out some walls there real quick. All right, so you're there. This intelligence. You're there. that so then this is park ready yep that is assuredly park ready need to get this one as well so a builder there will be good also like two amenities okay that's true that's true i don't mean to be unfair Side, we have a good number of cities if newbie here uh does it become more difficult to maintain a larger empire it's certainly more difficult to to maintain a larger empire um there, there's a lot of of management of you know when you get 10 to 20 cities and even more really um in a general in, in a in a typical game 
where I'm trying to do something economic, I'm shooting for between eight and 12 cities. The more cities, the better in Civ six. So there really isn't there, there, there isn't a, a, like, I wouldn't tell you to stop somewhere. However, like understand that a city that you found on turn 150 isn't going to be as valuable as a city you found on turn 50. Right. So it, it, I really try to spend the first part of the game cranking out cities and making sure I can claim up the land. Uh, and, and then from there, like y you do want to economize and, and know that in Civ six districts, like the more campuses you build and the later you get into the game, the more expensive your next sub subsequent campus is. So that city that you found on turn 150 is going to have a hard time contributing to your empire in a lot of ways now there are exceptions to that especially in like a culture game where um you can do things like make seaside resorts and and national parks which can help your cities without having districts or or lots of stuff like that so really there's no there's no correct answer but i find that between 8 and 12 is is usually a good um a good target that's why you lock in districts yeah most definitely uh but again like if, if you're getting a city at turn 150 like locking in a district isn't that good either uh help from me uh do you think japan and space race go together i think japan goes together with whatever victory type you you darn well please uh japan is a very flexible very versatile sieve um and yeah i would uh i would say that they can do pretty much anything they want but they make an excellent space race sieve as well Lucky 13, All right. obligatory resub limerick rerun. Yo, if Brad. you find this stream worthy of time, you can help <laughs> without spending a dime. Just head over to Twitch with a goal to enrich and drop off your free sub on Prime. <laughs> Brett, thank you so much for the 13 months. Welcome back with that Prime. And Jerp, thank you for the 11 months, almost a full year. Thank you, friends. Thank you so much for the support. IATGM hype. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, interesting thought, Liang's 20% discount uh, District production pays off better late game Yeah, kinda um, Although it's still very expensive Have I tried Chinese Kublai Khan yet? Maybe off stream? I have not You're incredibly disappointed by his trade post Eurekas Yeah, they're, they're, they don't do a whole lot <laughs> And I, don't, I think they're meant to be an add-on to that ability Not necessarily the selling point of it So... Is Lady Six, Six Sky viable to play the way it's intended? I, I am not a big fan of Lady Six Sky. I don't like her campus. Uh, it, 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 it feels too conditional, too situational to really, um, to really feel good, at least in my opinion. What up, BFD? Why isn't it? Why isn't that popping up? Thank you for the two, thank you for the tier two friend. Thank you for the eleven months. I don't know why that's not showing up. I see it in chat, but not uh, not on Streamlabs. That's really weird. Sorry, friend. Thank you very much for the ongoing support. I appreciate it immensely. All right. So now it now what should be? We're at turn two ten. I'm guessing thirty more turns of this game. Shouldn't I try the China All Wonder before they add more wonders later this week? I think they're mostly adding late, late-ish, mid, mid to late-ish game wonders, and those aren't as hard as, as the early ones. But that's an interesting thought, Flappy. Hey, Andy. What do we do with the Mounties after we build the parks? Uh, we're gonna give them some maple syrup. Let them, let them enjoy that. Twenty-five percent more tourism at computers. Four turns away. Let's um. that sweet <laughs> i see what you did there the babylonian wonder is ancient it might be it might be we'll, we'll we'll wait and and find out via patch notes the cold war is not all right so now it can be rock band time i don't want to overcommit our faith to it because i have a i have a strong feeling that he's going to uh put in the policy that kicks us out 
but sh sending some to our, our biggest culture competitor seems like a good idea to me. So let's start with like four. Uh, till turn one, you want to spawn settlers. Uh, do you do it by using the policy card uh, at early empire or do you complete the government plaza first? I think if you go government plaza first, it's too slow. I, I really find that going government plaza into uh, audience chamber um, or inside, whatever the one, whatever the settler spam one, like that, that's really efficient if you can get that going, Spyros. Um, but there's at least on Deity, there are very few games where you're you're going to be able to um, to have that much land to really fill up all of that stuff later on, like later on in the first hundred turns of the game. So I do often find it is it is too uh, too slow for my taste. But that's just my two cents. <laughs> Twisted Canuck. It's, it's very difficult. I'm wearing a wrist guard, and I have been for gaming lately because I've been dealing with some wrist issues. Um, so it's actually kind of hard for me to type like this. Twisted. Twisted connect. There you go. That one's for you. <laughs> I don't know that I'll want to type out a bunch more, though. Really? Why? Oh, that's why. Look at these national parks coming online. Portugal soundtrack on point? Yeah, all, like all the Civ soundtracks are, are really good. I'm a big fan. So they're never going to get this preserve, huh? Sad. All right, let's put in this policy. Um, that one. All heavy and light cavalry units. So now we can make Mounties quicker. Let's start building them. All right, this one's out of charge. That's ready for a park. Random question, which Civ or leader do I see least in my games? That is an interesting question. Who do I see least in our games? I don't know. It's an inter interesting spreadsheet to make, though. <laughs> Maori? I see Maori some. Tomorrow? No, I feel like I see them all somewhat equally. Poland I don't see a lot of. That's That's an interesting one. What's up, Ryan? But 
my thoughts on barbarian game mode I, I i i look forward to trying it i don't know i don't know um you're building so two turns and we can get that going I feel like I see Egypt a lot. I don't like seeing Egypt in my games, I'll be honest. All right, what do we have? Uh, Wonder Tiles, I guess. This can be goes to 11 should be pretty good. That's a warrior. Let's do glam rock. Seaside resorts and harbors. Harbors, harbors, harbors. Okay, there are none of those. I'll just go with movement then, I guess. And we'll see if we can get away with doing any of those. Again, I have a feeling he's going to shut down his borders fairly quickly. Poor Lisbon. Uh, Dido, you want to just settler spam. Get a, get an early harbor and just go as wide as possible with Dido. It's generally what I like to do. All right, we're out of charges here. Go make a friend. I don't think rocket science will be important, but we'll see. We shall see. Do I have any buildings to buy is a question. Yes. Then I think we should use our production for Mounties and start buying these. All right, out of money. We out of money. To 412. There's Panama Canal. Did you guys see that? And I didn't. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Impressive, actually. Oh, I don't want... I don't want him. He's not the threat. All right, so in a tourism game, you want to make sure you have a trade route to every other Civ in the game. November B Basil... Cleo and Poundmaker. So we're missing Matthias. So pretty happy to do that. High variance rock bands. I mean, that's the nature of that. That's the nature of rock bands. Is there is there high variance? You know, so like they can they can absolutely win you a game, but they can also just fizzle and die. What's up, Weekly? First time viewing after finding you on YouTube. Love the content. Definitely teach me a lot about the game. That's what I that's what I aim for. So huzzah, huzzah! Mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, trying to start and learn Emperor. Any playlist of yours that we'd recommend right. for some of the more difficult things are explained? Um, thank you for the follow, Weekly. Welcome in. 
Um, I, I, I really try to, it, it depends what you're trying to learn. I, I would, I would basically like seek out games based on their victory type. Oops. That's my Mountie. Um, I would, I would seek out games based on their victory type and just try to like imitate. Like I feel like imitating and replicating is a, is a great way to, to learn things in this game. Um, so that's kind of where I would start or, or duplicating a sieve strategy that you want to learn. Um, but basically like go, go wide and be comfortable, uh, being behind early is, is sort of the trick to, to leveling up your Civ game in a lot of, in a lot of cases. Hungary, Russia, and Zulu, Blue Wing says, yeah. Over explain culture, Russia, that's a good one too. Hi, Marty McFly mode. It's good to be online today. But the Maya playthrough was a good one, especially how to defend early war against combat bonuses. So there you go. Chat's, chat's got you covered. There's some good suggestions. Ah, thank you. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for saying hello. I always love to meet a new friend. All right, next turn computers. Can I theme a building? No? So we have Renaissance, Industrial Basil. So is there an industrial artifact out there? And then we might be able to do it. Let's see if I can do something with the classic era. I think there were a couple of those. Oh, I can't. Thank you. So I have to fill. All right, so I just have to there buy two more. There should be an auto theme button for your galleries. There sh you know what? There should be. I bet that's a mod, Mark. Thank you so much for the 300 bits. How you doing? It's good to see you. Uh... If I'm remembering correctly, it's been it's been a minute. Add, it's even telling you add industrial. You want the same era, different sieves for archaeological. Same era, different sieves. So then I guess I just need to buy two more and then we can move them. So then now, all right, so that's themed industrial, ancient, renaissance, industrial, renaissance, ancient. Hey, look at this. Uh, so let's just see theming two of three. Why aren't you partially themed? Oh, because it's double Movember. So if I do this, there we go. All right, so partially themed there. Hey, Mephistopheles, how you doing, buddy? Good to have you here. All right, so that's decent. Don't think we can do anything with art. Hey, Tobino. How's it going? So 38 of 275. These numbers are closing. And the next turn, we get a nice little boost. Let's see if these rock bands go through. Can we send them somewhere else? It's fine.
Is it normal that Scotler is easier to win a culture victory than science? <laughs> oh, poor Scotland. To Earth, a people without... Not too bad. All right, so up to 538 tourism here. That's good. So then, yeah, I want this to be here. Oh, this marsh needs to go. That's part of it. And we have Rembrandt. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. So we could do a park here or just a park here. Six, five, five, seven. So this is a way, way, way better park, not including the volcano. All right, so that takes care of computers. That basically it takes care of the top half of the tech tree. And I guess that means we're just going to click on that button. I feel like Australia plus conser con preserves is definitely awkward. I feel like that's definitely awkward. All right, I think I probably need to start taking out our faith gen. Or maybe builders, because I'd like to be running heritage tourism. Maybe I can wait. Let's go get ski resorts. Time to take robotics and GDRs. Indeed, indeed. Hey, perfectly average guy. How's it going? All right, where else can we get parks? Do, do, do. We need this. You've got this one. Got a preserve. We could grab a theater square here. Unexciting as it is. I think that's fine. Fine ish. Fine adjacent. then mounties are fine or do i want to hey we can get a broadcast tower it's fine <laughs> all right who else do we need trade routes to catherine if possible genghis genghis works okay To the, uh, what is this? I love, I love, <laughs> I love when the AI can get like, th like 300 culture per turn with like two theater squares. <sighs> Jerks. There. Go up there. Okie dokie. How many parks do we have so far? Ten. <laughs> exactly, Mark. <laughs> it's been a real roller coaster of a game. I've I've enjoyed this one pretty thoroughly. It 
Should I buy another Mountie? No, I can keep building them. Yeah, we're, we're building them. It's okay. Civ Show, thank you for the raid. How you doing? Welcome into you and yours. How was your stream? What were you up to today? Should we go into democracy? I don't know that I want the tourism penalty for it. Although we're already at different... No, we're at different religions. And we are at different governments, too. What is he in? Um, he's fascist? Oh, I'm not going to switch into fascism. So I guess we could go into democracy. Yeah, it general it's generally a penalty, um, and it it just it just depends where, um, it just depends where you're at in the game. Like if you if you're closing out like a sub two hundred culture game, switching into democracy is probably going to hurt you because the the rest of the AIs are sort of unlikely to be there. Um, but there's also like a tier three there's a tier three tourism mechanic for governments as well. Uh, so I think you get I think you get penalized twice. <laughs> He's fascist? Question mark. Bronze is the Let's grab that. Go there. You go there. We can get some lumber mills on these. That won't hurt our appeal. Found iron. Iron butterfly within the Garden of Eden. I think I'll still build warriors here. I do want to switch in a second, I think. Let's get some tundra resorts. Would I'll get right on it. In a trade agreement with England? Tom, thank you for the 50 bits. Thank you very, very much. How you doing, bud? Good to Good to have you here. Walls are a tiny bit of tourism. We could get a theater square as well. And then maybe I'll get a couple more rock bands here. And we'll set up for more parks over here now. We have a bunch of envoys. Um... Henjo Sue's doesn't matter too much. Can do that. And that. Not huge bonuses for that, but enough to probably do it. So how can what how are we doing the parks up in Hamilton? This city has also done absolutely nothing. Do, do, do. So we could do this as a park, this as a park, this as a park for them. Sure. I do this without water mills? I mean, there might be a city or two that doesn't have theirs yet, but I, I think I mostly mostly built water mills. He got Taj. That's fine. We, we decided that we didn't need Taj this game with all the crazy parks we can get. Everything has its lip men, they're right. 
Is this a good tile? That that might be a good tile. Seems okay. Alright, so let's switch into democracy. We'll grab our bigger government here. Hey, old gray hair. How you doing? So switching into democracy, we can keep... I think I'm going to drop the builder policy. I think they're diminishing returns on it at this point. Lightning warfare seems good to keep in versus movement. Is that true? Probably. Probably. Um... Tourism policy, culture policy. It's not very good. Take gold, I guess. What do channel points do? They're just like a fun extra thing. You can do, you can vote on stuff. There are some redemptions for them, etc. Great musicians? I think I'd almost rather put in the great art artist points. Like, neat to me that this is actually worth considering here. Uh, and this is largely because of the recent uh, buff to it. Uh, but basically, like, like, two writer points is really nothing at this point, right? Um, and so these don't scale. I, I understand the why. Uh, but these mid-tier ones do, and that's that's quite quite good. Twenty-eight parks in twelve cities with Canada. Nice rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mounties, Mounties are super fun. How you been, old gray hair? Hey, did you play any more Valheim? Have you gotten into that? I've pretty much maxed out things I can do in that game at the moment, until they until they add more content. That's not gonna help us. <laughs> I think I just want logistics. Until we get our next tourism policy, which is right around the corner. Yeah, let's go ahead and get our museum now. Is there a way to see where your uh, culture is coming from? You could do this to see where it's coming from as far as um, cities. That want that 81 at the bottom is a suzerain thing. Uh, and then you could go in and see individually within your city where they're coming from. Um, so it's kind of a two-part thing, but... Good, good mileage out of, out of symphonies. Yeah, I can. I, again, I can see those being worth it now. So two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. No, not quite. It's okay. You can also go into the yields menu. Yeah, that's true. You can go in here to city status and do this. But again, it's not like collapsible and it's like it's collapsible like that, but it's not collapsible by like city. So it gets a little hard to, to see. But yeah, you can do that as well. Hey, thanks, Nobles Harkon. Got up on YouTube. Awesome job getting your religion back. I, I, I It's fun to me to have a, a, a playthrough that sort of there's something worth watching in the mid game. Um, it doesn't always happen, you know. And uh, this was a, a nice exception to it, I think. There we go. They can actually get another district. Not that it matters too terribly much. We have another art museum up there. What are we creating here? Portrait and religious. Those are valuable. Portrait. S 
So it needs to be the last charge for the religion one. So I think what I'll do is I'll send you here. You go there. Go there. Reynolds tab, thank you so much for the 10 months. Welcome back with that prime. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate the ongoing support. So we're looking for ski resorts and uh, sports media. That would be kind of cool, Mark. Yeah. Rock Band should, get, should make great works and disband if it. Yeah, they could create like a great work of music if, as a way of like capping them out at some point rather than let them perpetually go. Man is a military animal. That, that volcano was not erupting a lot of the game. <laughs> so interesting to see it kind of going ham now. plans for Christo. We don't really need Christo in a game like this. Christo is really good if you get a lot of seaside resort based tourism. We just don't have that. Not 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 with Tundra Civs, really. So then this is a portrait. Partially themed. And then we want to go to Winnipeg with that last charge. Two turns on Bolshoi. Four turns on this. Eh, it's fine for now. Oh gosh, and we're long on the video. So let's go ahead and put a cut in here. I think I think we're getting close to wrapping this up. Um, we've got our modifiers. Once we get our policies and things cruising, we'll be good. We've got a good amount of national parks and plenty of room to make a bunch more. So things are finally going well. Uh, we'll have to re-up some friendships and alliances. But for now, I will say adieu to YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.